I'm Violette Lavender. I'm one of the audiologists and I specialize in pediatric balance testing. One of the things that we try to do here is figure out what's going on with children when they have balance concerns and specifically vestibular disorders. Some children might present to us with spontaneous falls, some children might have brief periods where they can't walk straight or walk, walk at all, and some children may say that they're feeling dizzy. Um, we're trying to get to the bottom of it. What is causing that? Is it the inner ear that's causing it? Is it the brain that might be causing that? And then we try to offer help to those families as well. The inner ear is called the labyrinth and it's divided into two sections. We've got the cochlea portion which helps you hear and we've also got your um, semicircular canals and otolith organs which help you balance. Vestibular disturbances in children are actually pretty rare. It's not that common. However, it is a need that we are seeing that needs to be met. So we developed the center so that we can so that we can address those concerns for families. And if a family is noticing that their child is having these dizzy spells, for example, they may go to their pediatrician and we've let the pediatricians in our area know that we are available for services. Typically they refer them on to one of our ear, nose, and throat doctors. And our ear, nose, and throat doctors eventually send them on to the audiological portion, which is what I do. We do different tests here in the vestibular center and try to figure out what's going on with the kiddos. And um, at that point, we rec put our recommendations in a report and send them back to either the otolaryngologist or we may make recommendations for physical therapy as well. The different senses that we're testing while we do the vestibular tests are their vision and how well that integrates with their balance system, their proprioception, which is how well their feet feel the world, and finally their inner ear perception. And when you put all those three things together and integrate it in your brain, how well are they able to balance? And the different tests that we do test different pathways, such as your ear to your brain to your eye pathway, and then your inner ear to your brain to the muscles in your neck and back pathway as well. Well, I often tell the children there's four different tests that we're going to do. And I always tell them we're going to start off with our stretches, which include some different tests that we do where we just watch the children try to balance. We have them, um, we shake their heads from side to side and we have them stare at our nose, or we may have them stand on a big piece of foam. Um, and we, we call that their stretches. Then the next part is we have them stand on a platform and the platform is sway referenced, which means it moves with the child. But we tell them that they are playing the statue game so that they have to stand on the platform and be a statue. And I always say, don't let me trick you. I'm going to try to trick you. Your job is to be a statue. So that kind of makes it fun for the kids. Then the next one we have is a chair that actually spins. Um, we call that their rocket ship. They get to wear a little scuba mask while they're in the rocket ship and we tell them they're blasting off like an astronaut. So we call that the, the, the rocket ship game. And then finally we come over into the other room and do our VNG testing. And that stands for video nystagmography. Um, this test, at the very end of it, we actually have to put warm water and cool water in the kids' ears, which you would imagine wouldn't be that pleasant for the children. Um, but again, we make it into a game for them. If they like swimming, we call it the scuba diving games. Um, some kids like to be very clean, so we call it their ear washing. And then we tell them that after they get the water in their ears, something magical is going to happen. So they might feel like they're flying or floating or spinning. And it's all up to them to tell us. So that makes it into a game that they think that they are um, telling us all about what's happening when they get the water in their ears. Sometimes we find out that one of the inner ears on one side or the other is not working as strongly as the other side. If that's the case, sometimes our physicians do medical management with, with drugs. Um, sometimes there is no medical management and we send them over to physical therapy to learn how to adjust to the difference in their two ears. Um, they may give them at-home exercises so that they can work on that at home.